Hey, Nick from Harvest Profit here. Going to show you a couple smaller but helpful improvements we have made to the software here in the last couple weeks. <clears throat> First one, we're going to go to our Applications tab here, and we're going to go into one of my cornfields. So I have all of my fertility planned out here for 2018, for 2019. But let's say we get a healthy dose of rain um, late May and June, and we want to go in and side dress um, some more nitrogen. And so I can now add a separate application here. Um, before, this was just one big chunk of inputs. So I'm going to add an application, and I'm going to add some 28%. And so let's say we just add 10 gallons of 28%. I'm going to just call this uh, June side dress. June side dressing. So we're saved there. And then I'm going to um, just copy that over. And let's say we do this on... Um, these additional fields here. So I'm going to copy this fertilizer over to those fields. Uh, so we, we excluded one field, so maybe we just didn't get the, the rain on um, our bull butte field. And so we open up our home field here, and here we go. We have added our June side dressing application um, without impacting what we had previously added here. Um, this isn't a monumental change in itself, but it really opens the door to a lot of, you know, a lot of powerful things we're going to be working on in the future. Um, activities, mixes, uh, some other, yeah, a lot of cool stuff that's in the works here um, at Harvest Profit. So that is the applications tab. There's going to be a lot of changes coming to this. Um, we're moving slow and steady because uh, as a user of software myself, all of a sudden when something just completely changes, it's almost universally a negative to me. Uh, if I'm using a product, I'm using it for a reason, and I don't need it to just dramatically change. And so we're trying to be thoughtful about the improvements that we make here. The next thing we have added is the ability to create default entity shares. And so... If you look here, we have this field that we have split 50-50 across two different entities. But if you go back to the Applications tab, what that really does is it almost creates two separate fields. Well, that really limits a lot of the stuff we want to do going forward. And so now I can go and I can create an entity share. So I'm just going to call this, you know, this is my 50-50 split. I have 50% to Harvest Incorporated, 50% to Harvest LLC. I save that agreement. I go back to my crop plan, the crop planner tab. And now I can select this 50-50 entity share, and it'll take everything and split it up appropriately based on how you define that entity split. The third thing, we added default, or we added bulk actions to the crop planner. So I can go in and I can select all of my fields, I can set the shares, I can set the crops, and so rather than going into each one of these fields and defining this, I can go in and set that. And we also added this crop plan by crop. So you can go in and just, it's a little bit of an easier interface on building your crop plan. So at the end of the day, trying to minimize data entry, trying to make this as easy to use as possible. And so the three things here um, on the applications tab, you can now add separate applications, really separate groups of products and copy those to um, some, none, or all of your fields of that same crop. On the crop planner, 
You can now define your entity splits and it just flows through all the way through to your profit and loss. And then we've added some bulk actions and some co a couple different ways to just build your crop plan. Um, and so this should take literally five minutes. If it takes any more than five minutes, give us, you know, let us know and we'll do it for you. Because at the end of the day, you, um, you know, we want to build the software to enable you to uh, do this analysis without having it turn into, you know, three hours a week or five hours a week. You know, we want this to be a, you know, pop in once a month over a cup of coffee, um, get your crop set up, get your things updated, you know, enter some contracts. And we know your priorities lie with planting, fertility, spraying, harvest, and you just can't afford software to turn into a new job for you. So uh, at the end of the day, we're trying hard to add new valuable features at the same time improving what we have. And so there will be more to come and just wanted to share this update with you on those three things. So have a wonderful day.